Hi guys, welcome to part two of episode 18. We're back in the Lothario household. Uh, Cassandra is off at work. Don still wants to have five loves at once, ask us them on a date, and public woohoo. But he has to go to work today, and he's off for the next two days. So today I'm going to have him stay home and spend some time with Eva, who still needs to learn how to walk. And probably over the next two days we'll have him go out and meet some more ladies. Cassandra just got home from work and she's been promoted back to science teacher. She got demoted last time from a chance card, but now she's been promoted back to teacher and I'm so happy for her because I know that she really likes working with kids. Um, and we need to take care of her needs. She is not doing well at all. I still highly suspect she's pregnant um, because her needs are going down fast. So we're going to take care of her. Another day has passed. Dawn is now 40 years old and Cassandra is 41. Little Eva is four years old and she's gonna age up in one day. Um, Cassandra it was in a really bad place where she was starving and exhausted and needed yeah. fun. I was able to get her to sleep and eat and now she really needs to have some fun. She wants to smuscle dance. And she also wants to play peekaboo, so I'm going to see if I can get her to have some fun by playing peekaboo with Eva. Oh, never mind. No, I'm not. Eva's asleep. So, Cassandra is going to smuscle dance by herself. It is snowing pretty heavily outside. It's winter time here. I know you need fun. Let's see if she'll do it. Oh, there she goes. And she's getting fun from that. Oh boy. Um, so Dawn's off at work and she wants to invite Darren over, flirt with Darren, and give back rub to Darren. So I guess as soon as we get her fun up, we are going to invite Darren over. Darren's on his way over. Cassandra is wearing her very sexy nightie, and she's going to go in here and gussy up while she waits on him. She still needs fun, but maybe she can get some with Darren. I'm going to check on Eva really quick. She seems to be doing fine. She needs a bath, but I think the butler... She's going to go outside and greet him now that she's all gussied up. Oh, and we got a chance card for Dawn. A co-worker is selling ballet tickets for the famous Symtopia Ballet Troupe, and Dawn snatches them up for what he thinks is a bargain. He later learns, however, that the tickets are actually for the touring troupe and not the Symtopia Troupe. Should Dawn go back to the co-worker and ask for a discount or just accept the original selling price? Well, I don't think Dawn would just accept that. I think he'd go and ask for a discount Oh, he took a small loss on the tickets. Eh, not too bad. Alright, I'm, I'm going to have them go back inside because it's really cold and snowy out here. Let's see how much time they have. Dawn gets home at 1 a.m. So they have quite a bit of time to spend together before he gets home. Darren loves taking this newspaper in. She wants to play with him and flirt with him. She needs fun, so um, maybe they can play kicky bag. He's going to goose her. Oh, that counted as a flirt for her. She wants to classic dance with him again. I think they have to go in here. Maybe that'll be fun for her. Her needs are just going down so fast. I keep waiting for her to get a baby bump. Alright, call over Darren so you can dance with him again. She loves dancing with him. Dance classic.
You'd think she would get fun from this. Oh, she is getting fun from it. She wants to appreciate him, tell him a dirty joke, and tell joke. But I'm going to let them dance for a minute. hear myself over it. Alright, she wants to tickle him. Come back here, Darren, and get tickled. <laughs> she wants to appreciate him again. Just admire him. Oh, not bad, Okay, it's she just wants to tell him jokes over and over again. Um, but it's getting really late and she's getting exhausted and she needs to go feed Eva and put her to bed. So we're going to have to say goodbye to Darren. He needs to get back to his family as well. I don't know where he's telling Brandy he's going. Alright. I know, Cassandra, I know you're exhausted. Dawn is teaching little Eva how to walk. Today is her birthday, so this is their pretty much their last chance to teach her her last toddler skill. Cassandra taught her to use the potty and talk, but Dawn is handling this one, and it looks like he's almost there. I couldn't get his um, mood meter up high enough for him to make her smart milk. So he's just doing it the old-fashioned way, and they've been working on it all morning. And there it goes! So oh, she learned all of her toddler skills. She can walk, talk, and go to the Thanks potty. You, Good for you, Eva. Good for you, Dawn. Oh, Cassandra just got home from work, and she is getting her first baby bump. So she did get pregnant while they were on vacation, and there's going to be another little Lothario baby. So she's getting her bump Wednesday at 3, so we should have a baby Friday... Wait, Wednesday at 3, Thursday at 4, she'll get her second bump, and Friday at 5 p.m., we should have another little baby. Eva. I'm going to have Dawn come and rub her belly, and that way I know that she, he knows that she's pregnant. She's going to take the mail out first. What was that? Oh, it looks like we got a coupon for a free meal at the restaurant of cho at our restaurant of choice. Um, but we don't have any restaurants, so maybe we need to put one into Pleasant View. And Don is acknowledging that Cassandra is pregnant, and he got a good uh, memory from that. Ah, and he's congratulating her. <laughs> Aww. So this is going to be Dawn's third child, his second child with Cassandra, and of course he has little Gia, but Cassandra doesn't know about Gia. Alright, Cassandra has got to go to bed and take care of her needs, and it looks like she might be asleep. We're going to have to wake her up for a little Eva's birthday. We're going to let her sleep for about an hour. Dawn is throwing a birthday party for Eva. We're just going to invite over friends, close friends and family. Let's see. We'll invite Mary Sue because Mary Sue and Cassandra are friends, but they haven't spent very much time together lately at all. So this would be good. And we'll invite Daniel too because Daniel is 
friends with Dawn. Um, we will invite... Well, I guess that's it. I wanted to invite over Alexander, but I'll have to summon him over because it doesn't look like Dawn... He's not an option on Dawn's list. So we'll summon him over right now. And he just appeared in their bedroom. <laughs> Look behind you, Don. It's Alexander. He just appeared here. All right. Looks like not everybody's going to show up. I'm going to go ahead and buy a birthday cake. I'm going to put the smart milk in Cassandra's. She's got a coupon for a free meal. What is that? Oh, map to Pagoda in the Shadows. So that was what that was in the last episode. Anyway, let's buy a birthday cake. Oh, not there. We're going to put it up here so we don't have to take her all the way downstairs because it's getting really close. And it looks like Alexander is going straight in there. Oh, he's going to get something out of the fridge. I thought he was going to go see his little niece. Oh, here comes Daniel. So Daniel showed up. Mary Sue did not. I think I'm going to summon her over because I really feel like she would come. Um, she just didn't come because Dawn invited her, but she would have come for Cassandra. So I'm going to summon her over as well. Alright, now she's here, so Cassandra needs to wake up. <laughs> We've got about an hour. Go talk to your friend, tell her about your pregnancy. I hope they're still friends. They are. Oh, but we wrap it. Eva's asleep, but we're going to have to wake her up. Alright, Cassandra, bring Eva to cake. I know you got to go to the bathroom, but you're going to have to wait. Come on, everybody. Eva's going to age up here. Ah, I want to get a good shot of her. So any minute now, she's going to age up. Come on. Dawn, where are you? Get up here! Oh, she blew out the candles. Here she goes. Oh, I cannot wait to see what she's going to look like as a child. She's going to be adorable. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. oh, she is so cute. She's grown into a child. As a toddler, Eva achieved the aspiration level of miracle might. That's fantastic. Life for Eva couldn't get any better or longer. Let's really look at her. She's cute. She really looks like a combo of Cassandra and Dawn, that's for sure. She's wearing her pajamas, so we can't really see what her clothes look like yet. Wow, there's a traffic jam at the stairs. I know! Get You know what? Get over here! Get over here and use the bathroom. I 
think Dawn is busking down there and everybody's freaking out. Cassandra isn't going to make it through this party. She is too tired from her pregnancy. She's going to have to go to sleep. Oh, wow. Daniel and Mary Sue are down here just getting real close to each other. <laughs> Don is totally busking. He's very good at piano now. Wow, Mary Sue gave him some money. <laughs> I really want to see what little Eva looks like. It looks like she's wearing a pink top. So her favorite color is probably going to be pink. Well, everybody's having a great time with Dawn playing the piano down here. Party's not bad at this point. But I want... Uh, I want to see what Eva's wearing. She's going to come upstairs to the dresser. She's not having very much fun at her own party, but I guess that's my fault. Okay, let's look. Well, that doesn't really match. <laughs> that doesn't really match at all. Um, That's a cute shirt and cute pants, but they don't really go together. Maybe I can find her some other pants in this style that match her shirt. I don't think she can shop online for clothes. Oh, yeah, she can. I didn't know children could do that. Really quick, I'm going to go over here and fix her outfit. Okay, I had her buy some pants, the same type of pants, but with a little pink on them so she could keep her same style and keep her top. And it doesn't match perfectly, but I think it's good enough for her because that's what she chose to wear. And it's pretty cute. So here she is, little Eva, as a child. Now she needs to try to have some more fun at her own birthday party before she has to go to sleep. Everybody seems to be having a great time down here watching Dawn play. Oh my gosh, Darren just showed up here. Oh, that's bad. Um, hopefully he won't just walk right in. This is usually the time that Cassandra's been inviting him over, but this is a really bad time. They're having a family party. Dawn is here. Oh my god, he just walked right in. Okay, we gotta do something about this. Dawn's gonna go over there and be like, Darren, um, what are you doing here, man? He just walked in and gave Dawn some money. Alright, he's gonna be like, Darren, you weren't invited to this party. You gotta get out of here, dude. Alright, get him out of here. I'm afraid Cassandra's gonna wake up or something, so he's gotta go. He shook his hand. If only you knew, Don. If only you knew. Okay, she's exhausted. She's just not gonna... She's gotta pass out. The party was not bad. There weren't any other kids here for Eva to play with, but... And she passed out from exhaustion and didn't have any fun. <laughs> but everybody else seemed to have a good time. He, Don wants to influence somebody to talk to another sim. Oh, final party score? Good time. And Don got a positive memory for throwing a good party. Even though poor Cassandra had to sleep through most of it and little Eva passed out. Now that everyone's gone, we need to... Well, actually, I'm going to leave this room as the nursery. Um, I'm going to move this cake downstairs. I'm going to leave this room as the nursery for the new baby. And we're going to move Eva into this room. 
We may have to remodel the nursery if we get a boy because this is obviously a girl's nursery. But I'm going to remodel this room for Eva. Okay, I'm done with Eva's room. I gave her a very elaborately decorated princess room. <laughs> Because I figure this is my richest family, so they would probably spare no expense on their daughter's room. So I gave her the full princess set. Um, I think it's called Fantasy, the fantasy set. I think it turned out very cute. It is very pink, but luckily she likes pink. <laughs> we have two very pink rooms in the goth household now. If they have a boy, this one will change. Um, but this is Eva's little room now. I'm quite happy with how it turned out. So she's going to go, oops, not jump on her bed. She is going to go sleep in her new bed as soon as she wakes up. Come on, get upstairs. It's really late for her. It's almost 11 o'clock. So it's the next morning and I just got to pop up that Eva doesn't have to go to school today because there's a snow day. It's been snowing so much that the school will be closed today. Catch up on that homework and enjoy the day off. So this was supposed to be Eva's first day of school, but she's not going to be going today. And Cassandra is home because she's pregnant. Don is off work today, so we're probably going to have him leave the lot and go try and maybe he'll ask somebody on a date. Or go try and meet some more ladies. Dawn is going downtown to the club called Pure P-U-R-E, which means party until really early. <laughs> he likes to go to the spot because there's a hot tub there so he can seduce his ladies. At first I had him go to Doc Allen's hangout, but it was just getting too small for him. Um, there were too many women there that he's already hooked up with and it's causing him a lot of problems. So I had him come here to meet some ladies. I added the downtown to Pleasant View. It was finally time, I guess. And uh, there's the diva, I think she's called. Marissa Bendet is here. He met Sandy Broody and now he wants to ask her on a date. Now he's meeting this lady, Hattie Turner. Who else is here? Melissa Fancy. Some other townie. Oh. Oh, she doesn't think he's hot. I thought she was thinking he's hot. Turns out I'm your boss's cousin and I'm phoning in a favor he owes me. Next time you go to work, Don, you'll be getting a promotion. Oh my gosh, awesome. Good for you, Don. He's out here networking. Okay, so he's going to talk to Melissa Fancy all on his own. Who is that? Oh my gosh, Dina's here. This is perfect. He needs to fix his relationship with Dina anyway. Um, because he could easily get her to fall in love with him again, and then he would get his wants to have five loves at once, because right now he has four. Cassandra, Jan, Nina, and Kaylin. So I am going to have him work on his relationship with Dina. Try to get her to forgive him. Alright, go greet her. She's not too happy with him. <laughs> she snubbed him. Um, he needs to smooth talk her a couple times. Oh wow, the diva does think that Dawn's hot. <laughs> Okay, that that went well. Just chat with her for a minute, Don. 
Get out of here, Melissa. Alright, flirt with her a little bit. Charm her. Their relationship's going up. <laughs> oh, she did not like that. Crap. Oops. You're ruining everything, Dawn. Smooth talker some more. Oh my gosh, she's rejecting everything he does except for smooth talk. She's still really mad at him. Um, smooth talk again then. I wonder how many times he can get away with it. I'll do like one interaction in between. Oh my gosh, she's throwing, she's giving him the cold shoulder no matter what he does, except for smooth talk. It's the only thing that's working on on her. I'm just gonna keep smooth talking her then. Oh, he had a little sad look on his face. Was that? Oh, that fire. I'm gonna keep doing it as long as she'll accept it. Oh my gosh. Hattie just got naked over here in the freezing cold and got in the hot tub. Come on. Accept. Get out of here, Melissa. We don't want to talk to you. You're not involved in this. Alright, tell her a joke. See if she'll accept now. Okay, that worked. Don's gaining fame and more and more people are starting to see he's a good sim. Alright, talk about hobby music. Tell her how good you are at playing the drums. <laughs> oh no, she doesn't like that at all. Okay, time for another smooth talk. Okay, um, oh no, don't hug her. I don't want to try to flirt with her too soon. Oh my gosh, she just jumped on him and attacked him. Oh my god, I'm missing it. What? She just totally attacked him and they were getting along so well. I mean, he's in a fist fight with her. I don't know what he did to her. I mean, I know what he did to her, but I don't know what he did to her right at this moment. Oh my god, Dawn just beat up Dina. Alright. We're gonna move on from that. I don't think that's ever gonna work out. Dawn, oh boy. Yeah, he totally just beat her up. But she attacked him though. He was just defending himself. Alright, maybe Melissa's not looking so bad now. <laughs> He's got two bolts with her. <laughs> they're oh my gosh they're gossiping about Dina just getting her butt kicked by Don <laughs> oh my gosh I can't believe that I guess they're never gonna get their relationship back so 
We'll move on. Oh, he was networking again. Oh, hey, Don, you seem like a pretty insightful person. I'm developing a new product, and I'd be interested to hear your feedback. Here's a free sample. What did he get? A TV? Yes, they always get the TV. But they don't have a TV in their house, so that's pretty cool. I guess. Dawn just got back home, and as soon as I got back to the lot, Cassandra got her second baby bump, and it's 10 a.m., so I guess because she was at work before, that's why she got her other baby bump at, like, 5 o'clock or 3 o'clock. So the baby's actually going to be born Friday at 11 a.m. So we're going to have a baby very soon. Uh, Don's back home. He's going to grab something to eat, and then I think he is going to just go ahead and ask Sandy Broody out on a date, since that's what he wants to do. And we'll see how that goes, because obviously he's not going to get anywhere with Dina ever again. I think I'm going to go ahead and end part two here uh, before it gets too long. This is going to end up being a three-part episode, so please join me for the next video, which will be our final part of episode 18, where Don's going to go on his date with Sandy Broody, and Cassandra will give birth to the new Lothario baby, so it should be very exciting. I appreciate you watching. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified when I upload new videos. And don't forget to check out my blog at PleasantSims.com if you're interested in any of the mods I use, or my gameplay rules, or my symbios and family trees. Again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you with part 3 very soon.